Welcome to Wednesday Web Chat. This is Carl Lewis, your host, coming to you today live from Portland, Oregon, where it is only 25 degrees with the windshield down around 15, they say. So cold this morning that I couldn't open the locks on my car. <laughs> Hopefully uh, your day is going a little bit better than mine at the start of the day. And uh, today we'll be taking a look at Crystal Reports basics again, and today a topic that few people uh, really get into with Crystal, which is cross tabs. So I'll show you how to insert and uh, use a cross tab in the next few minutes in our short and brief session today. So cross tabs in Crystal Reports. How does one do it and what are they? Well, let's take a look at uh, SAP just for a moment. Now, one of the things I'm going to do today is use a query as the basis of the Crystal Report. I'm doing that because I recently received a uh, question that even though we've shown this many times, uh, it's something that people are curious about and want to know how to take an existing query or a query they create and use it as the basis of Crystal Report. Um, also, many, many uh, users of SAP Business One have a large collection of queries and uh, they'd like to be able to do a little more with some of them than what you can do in the query wizard you know, without sending it to Excel and doing formatting there. How can I just do it once? And then every time I run my report, it'll turn out that way. So I'm going to use one here today. I have simply queried basically the uh, invoice table. And I'm looking at all the detail lines primarily, primarily here um, in INV1. Uh, there is a join in it where it's joined to OINV, which is the header table for invoices. And so uh, I'm just going to copy it. Right? You should put it, put it in the edit mode with a pencil. And then you can copy this query copy and uh, it's in my buffer now. So I'm going to go over to Crystal Reports, uh, have Crystal Reports open and create a new blank report and uh, some of the lessons that we've already had of course about how to create a connection using the new Business One uh, connection uh, that uh, SAP has delivered to us. Now I will tell you that in uh, patch level 5 